एवरीवन वेलकम टू जेजे के मास्टर क्लास गाइस टुडे वी विल सी द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द कन्वर्जन ऑफ फिशर प्रोजेक्शन फॉर्मूला इनटू टू सोहर्स न्यूमैन एंड फ्लाइंग वेज द टॉपिक बिलोंग्स टू स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर एम एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक सी एस आई आर एंड गेट एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन फाइंड द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस सो लेट्स बिगिन हियर सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज कन्वर्ट द फॉलोइंग प्रोजेक्शन इन टू न्यूमैन एंड सोहर्स प्रोजेक्शन ओके सो दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज गिविंग द प्रॉब्लम आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द बी सी यू प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट the newman and sohers projection so if you are uh, already aware of what is newman sohers and fisher projection then you can go ahead with this video otherwise first you learn what is fisher newman and sohers basic definition and then uh, you will go ahead with this video so this is a fisher projection and uh, as you know that optical activity of the molecule you have two chiral center here right two chiral center and uh, you have total Well, four carbon chain here, four carbon atoms chain here, right? So first we will see here the conversion of this into Sohers projection. Okay, so this projection, how to write this projection? You can see that we have written this first slanting line that is the central carbon atom. Let's say if you start the numbering from methyl one, two, three, and four. So carbon two and three we will write and draw first the slanting line, and then we will draw first two y. Okay, so you you can see the green color line here. One y is here and one y in the front. Okay, so two y we are writing here, where the bottom line of the y we will write down the vertical groups which are attached to the longest carbon chain, the two methyls. Okay, so we will write the two methyls on the bottom line of the y and the upper you can see here the y upper y we will write as such h and br to the carbon 2 which is attached to the carbon 2 and chlorine and hydrogen in the same way we will attach to the carbon 3 okay so this is carbon 3 and we have attached the chlorine and hydrogen okay so this is a way to write out this projection which is called sohers projection Okay, so here first you have to write down the slanting line, and then you write the two y here on the bottom line of the y. You write down the vertical line, uh, two groups which are attached, two methyls are here, and rest of the group with respect to the carbon two and carbon three. As such, we will write this particular confirmation where the two groups. If you look, this is the front carbon. okay that carbon 3 is a front carbon and carbon 2 is a behind carbon if you are watch, watching this molecule looking this molecule from here okay so you can notice if you look from here your eye is here then the chlorine is hiding the hydrogen this hydrogen is hiding the bromine and the two methyls are hiding each other so this type of confirmation where the uh, groups are hiding each other called the eclipsed confirmation okay so what we will do here we will do the 180 degree rotation uh, basically we will rotate the molecule uh, and uh, the front carbon we will rotate that is a carbon 3 here okay so if you run number 1 2 and 3 this carbon 3 which is attached to the chlorine and hydrogen we will rotate it by 180 degree the back carbon we will uh, show it as such as you can notice here so what we are doing 180 degree rotation the methyl after 180 rotation it will go on the opposite side here so therefore we have written here so you can notice it is ulta y right opposite y and then chlorine after 180 degree rotation will go into the opposite direction so it will come into the right hand side you can notice here cl and hydrogen after 180 degree rotation so it will come on the opposite side which is the left hand side of my so here you have got the hydrogen in this particular form you can notice none of the groups are hiding each other okay so if you are looking this molecule from the carbon 3 where i am just showing the red dot if you are looking the molecule from here cs3 is coming in the center of the hbr right and the hcl scl is coming uh, uh, just away from the cs3 basically cs3 will come in the center of hcl right so this form 
is called the staggered form. Okay, so it is an eclipsed form and it is the staggered form. And usually a staggered form is the most stable form because there is no interaction, no steric crowding, no hindrance is present. So this is supposed to be the most stable conformation. And the projection is called the Sawhorse projection. So this is how you can draw the Sawhorse projection. And similarly, we can draw the Newman projection. What we do here, here we draw the first circle and we put a dot. So the green color which you are seeing here, circle and dot. Dot represent the front carbon, that is the carbon 3 which is attached with the chlorine and circle represent the back carbon that is carbon 2. Okay. And here again what we will do, in this circle we are drawing the 2y here with the respective dot you draw the y. Okay. This uh, dot represent the carbon 3 and uh, here again you will write uh, on the bottom line. Uh, of the Y, we will write the two methyl groups as we have written in Sawhorse and similarly the dot which is the front carbon as such we will write chlorine and hydrogen. The back carbon which is carbon 2 is considered and uh, hydrogen and Br will come as such on the back carbon. So basically how to draw it? You draw first circle and dot. Front, the dot is considered to be the front carbon where you write the chlorine hydrogen as such and methyl will come on the bottom line similarly back side this is confirmation where each is it is hiding each other is called the eclipsed confirmation similarly we will do 180 degree rotation here of the front carbon and same way like we have seen in sawhorse methyl will go opposite direction 180 degree hydrogen will come to the opposite direction 180 degree as you can notice and chlorine will go on the opposite direction 180 degree okay so it is just opposite y as compared to the previous one right and notice is it is 180 degree so our opposite direction it is going hydrogen is going on the opposite side okay just you don't have to flip it it is a opposite side so 180 degree and this is again considered to be the staggered form and the most stable form so eclipsed form which is where you are high the these the groups are hiding each other and the staggered form where it is away from each other, there is no hindrance and interaction and so it is supposed to be the most stable. This confirmation is called Newman projection formula. So this is how you can convert your Fisher projection formula into Sawhorse and Newman. Okay, so to understand this, we will see one more problem of the previous year question paper where the problem is given, the Fisher structure is given and they are asking you to write down flying wedge, Newman and Sawhorse and they are also asking which is the most stable confirmation. Okay, so we have already seen Newman and Sawhorse first. So we will draw the same first here, eclipsed confirmation as you can notice here again. Uh, first step is draw the slanting line. Okay, and then draw the 2y on the end, uh, end of this uh, slanting line, okay, 2y. On the bottom of the y, you write down the groups which are written on the vertical line. One is CS3 and one is fluorine. And uh, similarly, so carbon 3 is having fluorine, right? And same way, on the top of the y, carbon 2 is having hydrogen OH. Same way, you write HOH. And uh, carbon 3 is having OH hydrogen, you write OH and hydrogen. Okay, so in that way, we have seen the eclipse confirmation. Okay, and now, same way you do the 180 degree rotation here. After rotation, it is a staggered form. Okay, and a staggered form is the most stable form. The projection is Sawhorse. Same way, we have written here. Newman projection, circle, dot, okay, dot is the carbon 3, the front carbon, fluorine you write below, okay, below, and OH and hydrogen as such, again the back side you have written the Y, same way CS3 on the bottom of the Y, and hydrogen OH as such, eclipsed, which is hiding each other, we will do 180 degree rotation of the front carbon, Fluorine will go opposite side, hydrogen will go opposite side, OH will go opposite side and now you have, this is a staggered form which is a most stable form. Okay, so if they are asking most stable, you have to indicate the 
वन एट्टी डिग्री रोटेशन हियर ओके सो नाउ वी विल सी द फ्लाइंग वेज हाउ टू राइड ऑन द फ्लाइंग वेज सो हियर आई एम मैं कार्बन टू एंड थ्री so first uh, this trick i have made it myself you may not get it any book so how to do it first step is you draw this slanting line okay like this zigzag line you write the zigzag line okay where we have written the straight line here in the zigzag line form ch3 carbon 2 carbon 3 and fluorine and now with respect to the carbon 2 and carbon 3 we will write considering that the hydrogen which is the lowest priority away from the viewer we will put on both the carbon 2 and carbon 3 and the wedge line we will put oh group here so uh, it is a chiral center how to find whether you have written the correct flying wedge structure for the fissure you can always verify it by doing the rs nomenclature okay rs nomenclature i have made up uh, already a one video you can watch it and uh, if you are not aware i'll let you know that we always set the priority so if you consider on this carbon fluorine get the one priority and oh will get the second priority and this group is considered to be the third priority so always we go from 1 2 and 3 so if you go from 1 to 3 you are going anti clockwise right anti clockwise means s okay s uh, nomenclature for the carbon 3 okay and for this also you can see oh gets a one priority this particular group will get two and methyl is getting three so if you go 1 2 3 it is again anti clockwise s so carbon 2 and carbon 3 both are s configuration and similarly you can do for fisher structure carbon 2 and carbon 3 and check whether you are having s configuration if you are getting ss for both it is the correct flying wedge structure okay and uh, if you get rs or sr that means uh, that belongs to the meso structure if you have written here R, if you are getting here rs that belongs to the meso structure okay so like that you can always verify your flying wedge by doing the rs nomenclature for that so if you are not uh, good in R, doing rs nomenclature i will make uh, another video on rs nomenclature to make you understand so hope you understood the flying wedge structure projection formula fisher uh, conversion to newman and uh, sohars projection formula so if you have any doubt in this particular video you can let me know you can write your doubt in the comment section and if you want me to prepare any other topic of stereochemistry that also you write it in the comment section happy learning mm -hmm.